Hi, my name is Fleming Berend. I'm a dental technician in Olympia, Washington, and I use for my uh, Emacs pressing the Dekima President uh, furnace, which I really like uh, because I can I can press three different colors in one pressing, and it's uh, super convenient. Uh, you all know how long time it takes to go through a whole cycle of uh, of just you know press pressing one crown um, so I'm gonna go over a couple of things that might help you in being successful with this uh, multi uh, color pressing technique uh, for my sprues uh, onto the crown itself I use a uh, rewax uh, hard wax thread wire uh, three millimeter uh, which I connect in this way you can see you can see the angle of how it's uh, how the crown is placed and uh, between the uh, cylinders between the the three the three canals that I press into for the three different colors I use a 3.5 millimeter connector wire and uh, then I have learned uh, through uh, trial and error that sometimes when you have a fairly thin occlusal, it might be really smart to put an extra canal. I use a two millimeter sprue that goes to the lingual uh, cusp. Uh, I know that uh, it's not written anywhere to do so, but uh, this has really prevented me from getting short margins in the lingual uh, section of the crown. So, um, so yes, so this is how I sprue. And I hope that this will be of some help to you guys out there uh, who are dealing with this uh, pressing problems or uh, pressing, pressing technique every day. So good luck and uh, carry on.